Hey guys, welcome to a new selling video, the first one of the year. I'm really, really excited to get back to it. And I am super excited to introduce you to my new sewing machine. This is the Brother Innovis A150. And it is a beautiful, beautiful computerized sewing machine that does loads and loads and loads of different stitches. Anything I could ever need. This machine does it and I'm so, so, so happy to have it. So I am going to use this today to finish my winter coat, which I made last month. And I put off doing the finishing touches until I had this little boy that can do buttonholes. So here it is, my coat. I took off the temporary snap buttons that I put on in my last video. So it is now all prepped and ready to be buttoned. The other things I need to do to it today are to attach the lining, which is still loose because I somehow just couldn't do that last time. And I'm gonna attach the hood. So many people in my last video commented that I should make the hood detachable. The hood is supposed to be detachable. It comes that way in the pattern. So yes, it will definitely be detachable. I had another look at the pattern, by the way, because I was going to attach it to the outside, but the pattern says to attach it to the inside. And it's just the strangest thing because on the images in the front and in the back, it looks very much attached to the outside of the collar. But in the pattern itself, um, it says on the inside, sew buttons to coat at small circles. So I don't know what they want from me anymore, but I am gonna do my buttons on the outside because it makes no sense to have a hood inside a collar because you're gonna have water running down your back and that is not good. Little buttonholes in the hood and then attach buttons to the coat and <laughs> this machine actually attaches buttons as well automatically so i think i'm gonna try out that function as well today the last thing i want to do to finish this coat is to make the belt so i have the fabric here i have the fabric for the belt and I attached interfacing and since I still have that very thick stiff interfacing I only did half of it I think that will be enough and this is going to be folded over and then stitched together so I think I'm going to start by just making the belt then I'm going to switch needles and do the buttonholes and I'm going to practice on another piece of fabric first before I actually <laughs> do them in my coat because I don't want that to be the first thing I ever sew with my new machine. I just spent about an hour flipping these thin tubes of wool inside out. Everything hurts. <laughs> they are just too narrow, but I finally did it. Um, these are going to be the belt holders on my coat, uh, but in the meantime, it has gone completely dark. So I'm just going to attach these. I think I'm going to do it by hand. I'm going to attach these to the coat and then we'll make some buttonholes tomorrow. Before we move on with the rest of the video, I would like to take a moment to talk about today's sponsor because this video is very kindly sponsored by Skillshare. So Skillshare is an online learning community offering thousands of inspiring courses for creative and curious people. They offer courses on all kinds of creative topics, but also business, personal development, design, hand lettering, sewing. They have sewing courses as well. There is something there for everyone to enjoy. I have been using Skillshare myself now for a good couple of months. I have learned 
so much on there already. The most recent course I followed is called Designing the Life You Want and it's by Michelle B. I absolutely love her YouTube videos. I was really excited to see that she had a Skillshare course as well. This really goes into creating a vision for the future for yourself. It's a great course to follow at the start of the year and she also has some exercises that you can follow so I definitely recommend checking that one out if you're into that kind of stuff. But if not then like I mentioned there's so much more about so many topics that you can learn on there. Skillshare offers memberships with me Meaning you can connect with other students while you're following courses, you can see their projects, um, ask questions to the teacher, and really feel like part of a community when you follow a course. So whether you're looking to fend off boredom, learn a new creative skill, or develop a skill that you already have and get a little bit better at it, Skillshare is the place to be. The first thousand people to click the link in the description box will get a free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership, and after the trial it's only around $10 a month, so definitely worth checking out in my opinion. A big thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and now let's finish this coat. All right, buttonhole time. I put out my markings here on the coat and I already tried it out. This is a dream and it works like magic. I just put in the button and it makes the buttonhole and I don't have to do anything, which is incredible. So I'm gonna do it. I feel confident enough to do it straight on the coat now. And if it doesn't work, then I can always unpick it. But it's gonna work. All right, that obviously did not work. It sewed over the same spot a hundred times and the needle broke. I'm not sure why this happened, so let's try and figure that out. I think the fabric might be too thick. Okay, it looks like the fabric is too thick and it isn't feeding through the foot properly, so I have to kind of manually help it, but I think that kind of works. There it is. I mean, it's not perfect, it's not as good as my test run, but it's definitely better than doing it by hand. The coat is finally finished. I attached the lining yesterday evening, finally figured out how to do that. I did it differently than what they said in the instructions, but it worked and it's in. But before I show you the final reveal, I thought it would be really cute if I made a matching beret with some of the leftover fabric, because I have a bunch of wool left over and especially these like scraps and this should be a super simple project that I can whip up in a couple of minutes fingers crossed I am just going to use the beret I already have as a guide because I like the size of this I think it's a good size I'm gonna start by simply tracing the size of the beret onto my wool that should be more or less a circle I'm gonna cut that out by the way I got these really nice fabric scissors from my brother for Christmas. So everybody who keeps hating on my fabric scissors, here you go. <laughs> these are better. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do two more of these, I think. And those are gonna be the band.
So now I just need to cut a hole into two of these for my head to go in. I'm just gonna try and estimate how large this border needs to be. I think that's about eight centimeters, including seam allowance. So there's probably a much better way to do this, but hey, whatever works. <laughs> I am completely improvising this, by the way, in case you were wondering. Now I am going to take one of these and I'm going to finish the inside with a finishing stitch on my sewing machine. So it's probably gonna be like a zigzag or something around the outer edge because one of these is going to be my facing and I'm probably gonna trim it to be just a little bit smaller than the other one. Then I'll come back. <laughs> All right, I finished the smaller circle with an overlocking stitch on my machine and then I attached the two of them together, right sides together in the center with just a simple stitch and that is going to be my band i guess so i clipped the seams here now i just need to press this so that the facing is on the inside but i think i'm going to do that later and now all there's left to do pretty much is to attach the band to the top of the hat so let's see it's going to be right sides together again, but I need to make sure that I don't sew the facing. So I'm gonna pull that in and then sew around the outer edge. Here it is, the finished result. Oh guys, I am incredibly happy with it. I still can't believe I actually made a completely functional and wearable piece of outerwear. <laughs> and one that looks this good. I mean, this is literally the coat of my dreams and I'm just, I'm overjoyed. I'm overjoyed. I love pretty much everything about it. I love the hood. And it's detachable with buttons and everything. I love the full circle skirt, which is just amazing. And twirls, I mean, a coat that twirls, come on. Very, very glad that I added the belt because the coat is a little bit on the bigger side. It has a bit of wearing ease, which is actually really nice because I can layer up underneath it. And it also holds some air, which helps, you know, isolate. And I can just cinch it at the waist with the belt if I want to which is really good. Now let me come up a little bit closer to show you some of the details. So the buttons that I have here, um, those are a really good color match. I'm very happy with those. Although I'm thinking I might one day maybe swap them for buttons that are this color so that it's all a bit more, you know, within the same family. Similarly colored buttons for the hood here as well. And I do like them. They are very inconspicuous, <laughs> which is nice because I do want this to be more of a basic coat. And you know, the shape is um, eccentric enough as it is. The beret that I made, I really love as well. It's a little bit on the smaller side. It's definitely more of an accessory than something to actually keep me warm. Because if I had wanted that, I would have had to make it a little bit bigger. And I know what happened. I didn't add seam allowance and I did that knowingly but it didn't quite turn out the way I'd hoped. So <laughs> that's a little bit on the smaller side, but it fits and it looks nice and I'm happy with it. So yeah, oh guys, I am so happy that I was able to finish this so quickly with that sewing machine, because if I had to do this by hand, it would have taken me weeks. I mean, doing all those buttonholes alone would have been 
a huge job. And now it's just, it's finished. Everything is done. The lining is attached. Maybe let me show you how it looks open. Here it is. I'm very happy with this color of lining. I think it's a really good match to the outside fabric and it peeps out of the hood here as well, which I really like. Um, and I don't actually mind too much that sometimes it even shows in the pockets. I think it's kind of a cute detail. So yeah, this is my first ever winter coat and I am going to wear this for the rest of the season. So that concludes this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and going on this journey with me of my first winter coats. If you did enjoy, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for loads more beauty, lifestyle and sewing content. I want to give a massive thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you so much for watching once again and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!